1969, a gentleman by the name of Bob Dean signed an agreement to lease these beautiful 47 acres of land and buildings in Estes Park, adjacent to Rocky Mountain National Park. This area had formerly been a luxury guest ranch. Bob Dean was himself a recovering alcoholic, and he had a vision. His dream was to turn this property into a residential treatment center for substance abuse. At the time, there were only 12 or so such treatment centers in the entire United States. So Bob set out to gather a board of directors composed of experts in the field. There was a neuropsychiatrist, there was a professor of medicine at the University of Colorado, there were lawyers, a judge, experts in business management, and together they designed a 21-day program based on the Minnesota model of alcoholism treatment. Now the Minnesota model incorporates the AA program, a supportive environment, group therapy, with the goal of achieving lifelong sobriety. This remains the format and the goal of our treatment processes even today at Harmony. Recognizing that the diseases of addiction are chronic, progressive, and relapse prone, the idea behind Harmony was to bring people from throughout the country, give them the opportunity to leave behind the stresses of their daily lives and jobs, and come here in this beautiful, serene setting to get help for their addiction. At the beginning, Harmony was more or less a revolving door of treatment. Clients came, they detoxed, they were discharged and returned home. Sadly, frequently they relapsed and came back into treatment. Observing this troubling pattern, Bob Dean and the Board of Directors extended the program to 28 days. At that time, that was completely unheard of. It was a very long residential stay. They added aftercare, they added a family component, and they added a recommendation to a 12-step program for a minimum of 90 meetings in 90 days. The founders understood that alcoholism is a family illness, and so they brought the families even onto the campus to assist in the recovery process. We do this today with a three-day residential weekend program for family members. When they finish here, they're given a referral to an aftercare continuing care group as well as to Al-Anon. So about five years into the operation of Harmony, and the operation had been sustained in those early years with the help of many volunteers, early graduates who mowed the lawn, worked in the business office, helped maintain the property, financially supported the operation, made it sustainable so that in five years, Bob Dean was able to make the decision to purchase this property and to continue the operation of Harmony Foundation as a treatment center. Very few changes have been made to the campus, but in the early 90s, a generous donation by a family member allowed us to build the Swickard Codependency Center. Today, we house the women's program as well as the family program in this building. Later, another donation gave us the opportunity to add a building in which we house our medical director and our admissions team. Harmony continues to be grateful to all of those early founders and early graduates who made this a sustainable program. We've continued to thrive. We're in our fifth decade of treating alcoholics and addicts. And as a matter of fact, conservatively, 15,000 people have been treated at Harmony for their addiction. In the early days, alcoholism was the only substance that was addressed. That's what people were using. We've seen a trend towards addiction to so many substances over these five decades. Valium, other tranquilizers, uh, marijuana, methamphetamines, cocaine, heroin. Today we see a disturbing pattern of abuse of prescription medications, opiates like Vicodin and Oxycontin. At Harmony, we're able to treat all of those substances as the same illness. Science has helped us to understand cross-addiction, brain chemistry. We incorporate all of these into our program here. While many things have changed, many have stayed the same. We have maintained the serene mountain setting, which we feel sets us apart from other treatment centers. The focus on the Minnesota model of treatment, the importance of the 12-step programs to support continued sobriety, family involvement, these elements have been with Harmony since the very beginning, 
and continue to provide the framework of our programs. The vision of Bob Dean and the early board of directors remains just as vital to our organization today as it did in 1969. There is a segment of our population afflicted with this disease. These are good people with a bad illness. Harmony is here to help them and to help their families on the road to lifelong recovery. This has always been and will remain Harmony Foundation's mission.